Okay colleagues, uh, sometimes you may have sent an email in haste and you want to recall that email. Um, let's go to my mail and go to a sent item. Um, you have to go to sent items first to actually see, to, to, to go through the process of recalling it. Um, so here's an item that I sent to grad 17. I actually made, did make a mistake with this one. I sent it to grad 16 and so I record the, recalled the email um, and sent the proper one to grad 17. So let's show you how I did that. Uh, you right click, um, sorry, you don't actually right click, you open the email, so double click um, to open that email. Let's try that again, double click. Um, and then under file, you can see here recall or resend. So I actually um, resent this message because it says here, look, send a message again with the options to update content or change recipients. Um, in fact, no, I didn't. I did this recall, look, delete or replace a sent message. So um, I wanted to delete unread copies of this message. Um, uh, in fact, I didn't. I deleted unread copies and replaced it with a new message. The message obviously was for grad 16. Um, if you're sending emails to a large group like Grad 16, then I suggest you uncheck this because then you're going to get um, many messages like I did yesterday from the system telling me that it was not possible to recall some of the emails or it was successful. Uh, so you can imagine my inbox was uh, pretty full. So click OK and you can see now it allows me to um, change this email well first I'm recalling it then I'm changing it or replacing it with a new email click send and we're away we go obviously I don't want to do that I hope that was helpful um, just in case you sent an email um, if you can do this quite quickly before the person actually opens it because if they've opened it um, then you obviously cannot recall it it's only when they have not yet opened the email Thank you very much.